First of all, welcome to the Salui assembly plant. Um, yeah, we started, uh, we founded the, the plant in uh, 1966 and we built the first vehicle here in 1970. Since then, we built more than 11.3 million vehicles here. The daily production volume is 1,800 units per day. And um, it's a rough split uh, focus. It's roughly 1,000 per day. Then we have CMAX uh, around 400, and then the Kruger with three, three to 350 per day. The RS is planned as a low production volume, uh, certainly not like, for example, Focus Wagon, where we build 600 per day, but it will be a, a double digit number. We've gone um, significantly wider on this car, and there's a, there's, a, there's a width limitation that is possible going through the production line. And, um, and this applies not only to the, the body in white, but also to the, the track, you know, the wheel tracks. So, and in, in the concept of the car, obviously we have to look at the, uh, the financials, in other words, in, avoid anything that is going to prevent the car from being able to go down the line. It's probably true to say that every time we start a project like this, we go back to square one, studying whether it's better to build it in a separate factory somewhere offline. And there are lots of examples of that. And, and you find out if you go through that, which I've done many times over the years, yeah. it is extremely expensive. For special products that command a very high revenue, you can do that. But, you know, we're, we're not in that territory. We want to deliver a product that is affordable for the customer. And, and that's why, you know, we have to focus on keeping it on the production line and, and with all possible activities being, being done in the standard um, cycle time. Again, the question is whether we are happy with the end product, and in this case, we're, we're more than happy with the end product. So there are no compromises in there which, no compromises in there at all that relate to the fact that we are running on the production line. But I, I think quality is one of the big issues because if we build a car on the production line with the production process, we know the quality that we, we get out at the end. If, for instance, you take a car from here, you strip it and rebuild it, it's almost impossible to achieve the same quality. In other words, to get back to the quality. And, and we're talking here about all the things you're familiar with, like squeaks and rattles and, uh, you know, the precision of the way the wiring harness is fitted and so on. You know, the production line is the place to achieve the ultimate quality. Previously it was independent. There were two, the, the front went up independently with the rear and then the exhaust was a separate item. But, um, but now the whole lot is assembled front, front and rear and, and exhaust and that guarantees alignment of prop shafts and things like that. And um, it's, a, it's a very, very successful um, change to the plant. Now I mean on the front end, uh, um, one of getting the, the, the fit of the engine front suspension assembly. Um, when you've got a larger radiator and intercooler and so on, that's all much more critical. So that's an area you have to get absolutely right um, because these engine compartments now are fairly full. And you've got a five cylinder engine and a big gearbox and big cooling pack. But it, it needs dedicated um, attention and, and cooperation, doesn't it? I mean, with, with the guys in the plant who can make it happen, mm -hmm. identify the issues. So we, we start very early on, that's the key to it in the, in the design process. Because Sir Louis has a pride, yeah. which is difficult to beat. They will, Sir Louis will do, every, do anything to deliver a product. It's, uh, it's a super plant.